Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays with more Illusion of Gaia. Apologies for the brief hiatus of the series. For some reason, the game did not want to save properly, and I had to redo everything up to this point, which thankfully isn't that much, but a little bit of a frustration. And so I pumped the brakes on it, but here we are, we're back. If you like being back, consider liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. We just finished up the Edwards Castle Prison Dungeon. We've got Kara. We're essentially trying to sneak out. Let's go ahead and get on our way, right? Sounds good. Oh. I appreciate that, Kara. Prioritizing snacks over all else? Smart. My kind of girl. Alright, so we're going to head down here into the cellar and see what we can find. Someone put food in one of these barrels. I wonder if it's one of these empty ones. <gasps> like this. I actually meant to say open, not empty. I don't know why I said. But thankfully, we found a large, yummy roast leg of yak. Everybody loves some good yak. Perfect. That's all you need? All five food groups? I don't even know if that's true anymore. When I was a kid, back in my day, we had a food pyramid. And now they have a food circle plate. Whatever. Anyway, so we go back to my place, get your stuff together. We're going to my place. Plenty of room for activities, of course. Get used to this, because this is how they do every animation for walking around. But yeah, we're going to make a brief pit stop back in South Cape. Make sure you got all four of the jewels in Edward's prison, because if you don't, you can't get any more of them. So that's just how, oh. Well, Grandma and Grandpa must have had a pretty wild party here last night. Jeez. Yeah, who would have, who would party at that age? My goodness. I find it strange that Kara is calling them Grandma and Grandpa. So let's go find out what's happened. Clearly the house is in disarray. And they're nowhere to be found. That's not good. But we have a smoking gun here. It's an image from the jackal. So there you go. This is the hunter that is trying to find Kara. How scary. Okay. So we have this little wisp following us. Actually turned out to be a person. Lily who was very upset during the dungeon if we accidentally whacked her with our flute. Totally understandable. You gotta ask for that. You gotta get consent before you whack people with your flute. So she introduces herself as Will's friend, which is a little strange because we don't really know her, but apparently we are well acquainted now after hanging out in a dungeon for a few minutes. But Lily has the deets. She has taken the grandparents back to the old village where she belongs. She's one of the village people. Young man. So there you go. It's a magic village that ordinary boring people like us can't see. So there you go. Kara is flexing her royal muscles, telling Lily that she can do whatever she wants. Typical. Well, excuse me, princess. And that's basically it. So if you didn't get all the jewels in South Cape, here's your chance to do it, I guess. Now that we have the four additional ones from Edward's castle, we can go ahead and give them to Mr. Jim here. Now that we have deposited seven after getting five, we can have our defense upgraded by one. So next we'll get more HP. Obviously you can see that these are the bonuses that you get. And uh, at 50, you can have uh, a chance to look at Gem's goodies. You can see Gem's jewels, which we will be doing, of course. But you gotta pay for that. So it's gonna take a hot minute. But now that we are back to the map screen, apparently that is not where we wanna do. I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing here? I thought the game was just gonna go ahead and let me do that, but apparently not. Okay, so, oops. A little foreshadowing. Many hardships in my video game? Excuse me. 
Now kiss. All right, anyway. Crazy girl. Ladies, 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 let's calm it down here, okay? There's no need to bicker. Hmm, do we agree with Kara or do we just kind of try to slink away? Let's slink away. Okay, I guess both answers probably give you the same thing. That's completely irrelevant. You don't need that. We can head to the Itori, Itori, I don't know, village? Very nice. Some nice music once again. They did a really nice job with the compositions of this game. In order to see the villages here, you have to play the melody. Do you think that the yak will help? Maybe we do that. Huh. What flavor could it be? Uh, probably yak. Duh, you goof. Let's go ahead and play Lola's Melody. We will summon the village people with our tune. Very cool. Super cool and fun. In doing so, using our magical flute powers, we have unlocked civilization. Cool. So yeah, there's a magic area around Itori Village that only magical people can see. It appears that Grandma Lola may be one of those. Kara is pretty thirsty. She's just telling it how it is though. So Lily, maybe you and Kara can uh, bury the hatchet here. If you check this pile of logs and get yourself red jewel number eight. Let's go ahead and check out this cabin here and see what's in it. It's a woman. Apparently, she's talking about the Inca tribe. I don't honestly know how true that is. It is kind of interesting, though, that there are real world parallels to actual civilizations that occurred over time. I find that pretty interesting. And it also I think this is one of those games that when I was a kid kind of got me interested in history. So it's not, you know, 100% factual. It's a game. There is a lot of kind of fictionalized content, but, you know. There they are. Grandma Lola and Grandpa Bill. Being fenced in for their own good. Wouldn't want them to walk away in their old age. So they were able to dodge the jackal. Very good. And uh, we now learn that Grandma Lola is a murderer. Poison, a woman's weapon, of course. There you go. Lily still at odds with Kara. We do get permission, though, to walk around, so that's nice. So we'll do that. We'll check some spaces and see what's going on. That is not an entrance. This is? Okay, very cool. Here's Lily's house. We can go see him in a little bit, but first, go talk to Grandma and Gramps. Why not? Well, I mean, you did kill some people, so maybe you're on a list. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Maybe you don't murder people with food. Okay. So apparently there is ink and gold here in this area. Some ruins that have ancient treasures, treasures in fact, that people keep trying to steal and the locals are not about it. This kind of looks like Olmec from Legends of the Hidden Temple. Okay, thank you Negative Nancy. All right, you guys are kind of bumming me out right now. Anyway, here's another dark space. You gotta come in here because you're gonna learn a new power here in a second. This is the Psycho Dash used to destroy obstacles. Go ahead and save, good for you. Go over to the statue of yourself, which is weird that that already exists. 
guess we're a pretty popular guy. It's not made of marble, though, so I guess they don't really care that much about us. Okay. So now we have the Psycho Dash. Very good. Only Young Will can use it, though. Freedom is not equipped with this, but you can smash walls and hurl yourself against them to destroy them. Pretty cool. Just encouraging a small child to engage in reckless abandon once again. Why not? Oops, excuse me. And if you do hit the run button and you go all the way down here, wee! You can come and check this spot out. I don't honestly remember if there is anything here. Oh, apparently there is. Something knows our name. Stranger Danger, perhaps? No, this is a cool little area. There's not really a ton you can do here. This is obviously just the game kind of setting itself up and giving you that new power that you will be using a few times in the rest of the game. It's not... It doesn't get a ton of use, but... You'll see. I mean, this game, like I mentioned before, is relatively linear, so of course... It's a bit of few and far between, but I'm gonna let this song play for a moment while I walk forward just because it's one of the cooler songs in the game. There's no way through, viewers. What do we do? All these cool, crazy looking statues. They're like, I'm trying to take a nap over here. If only we had a special power that let us run into walls. Hmm. Maybe if we infuse ourselves with the power of Mountain Dew and do it correctly. That would be great. Okay, I don't remember. Excuse me, game. Actually, I think it's... Hold on. If I remember correctly, it's not in the middle of the wall because that would make sense, wouldn't it? There it is. Thanks, game designers, for being a bunch of goobers. But here, you, here it is. The Indiana Jones treasure. The bag of whatever. Actually, I... He uses a bag of something to replace the thing with the other thing. So I'm getting this out of order. It's been a hot minute, viewers. Play off, okay? Very good. So we have the Incan statue. A? It's Canadian. But that implies that there are potentially 25 more of these that we need to find? No, there are not. Don't worry. There are not 26 of them. There, I believe there are four, but we will need to find them. But now that we've got that treasure, we can go and hang out with this, um, this hologram. What can we do for you, sir? Maybe. What were, what were you put on Earth for, viewers? What's your purpose? Let's get a little existential. No, don't do that. Okay, so this is kind of the, the hint that you're going to be doing for this upcoming dungeon. This does not apply right now, but... For some reason, they try to make it all cryptic and say that you need to put the statue on the Lorai Cliff where the spirit's breath cannot reach. But this actually is something you will do. It's it's cryptic in the sense that you don't know what it means now, but you actually physically will do that. You'll be putting statues on things and uh, in doing so, you'll be accessing another part of the game. Very interesting, very cool, of course. All right, so now that we've accomplished that, we are making really good progress here. Let's go back into Lily's house and hang out for a moment. Strange Shadow Tribe. Okay. Maybe we should go. Viewers, what do you think? Let's do it. We can go to the Moon Tribe camp. Carrie just wants to see the world. She needs to fill up her Instagram. Come on. So she will get permission via complaining. So there you go. This part of the game is very strange. But now we'll head back from the village to the Moon Tribe camp. Oh, 
Okay, so here we are. The Moon Tribe's home. Spooky. This music did give me the willies when I was a kid, though. I will be honest. I, uh, nope, don't need to do that. Definitely, this game made me feel a certain way, and that way was scared. Talk to the Moon Tribe? How can we do that? They're not around. Do you see any Moon Tribe, Lily? I don't see any Moon Tribe. Oh, there you go. So this is very strange. Um, guess who? Birdman, old man. Oh man, these are all really good options. Hmm. Let's go with Birdman. This is the Moon Tribe, of course. Oh geez, how could we? We're so stupid. So yeah, there are these weird floating masks that apparently are a tribe something? I don't know. All right, so apparently we learned about this comet of destruction that's causing issues in the world. It's going to be coming down and destroying the Earth. Well, excuse you, Grandma or Grandpa, old. So there you go. These are people that are from an ancient age that have transcended time and are now here to talk smack to us. But he wants us to go look in the cave. All right, we can do that. So apparently this comet has come around every 800 years, and we are just fortunate enough to be in the time period where it's going to go and destroy the Earth. Lots of fun. Born a little bit... Uh, too late, a little bit too early. So there you go. Hopefully no one's chasing us. Okay. So we do need to get another statue, which apparently is in this cave. But in order to do it, we have to do a trial. Of course. Oops. So we have to destroy all these creatures within 20 seconds and we can get the Incan statue. Can't even see. There we go. So these are... um. These are obnoxious little enemies that uh, I'm not going to be doing this the first time around because I've already messed it up, but um, you have to be quick about it, of course. Yeah. And you can attack multiple ones of them at the same time. Yeah, I definitely did a really horrible job at this. Pretty decent way to farm um, the little gems, though, if you need them. I don't, and I feel kind of bad for grabbing them because I didn't earn them. Anyway, let's try that again. Oops. Yeah, so... The countdown happens right away. So you gotta get yourself moving and grooving here. It does help also if you can um, attack multiple of these weird roly polies. Remember, anybody remember roly polies? If you can attack multiple ones of them at the same time. There we go. Oh, we're a good boy. Thanks. There we go. Inkin. Statue number two. Viewers, you've seen it. Enjoy. What a tough challenge. We did it. No. Man, Lily is so sarcastic. But going to the ruins is something that we will do next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been Dean Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sunday's Illusion of Gaia, and I'll see you next time. Bye.